limitations on title insurance. Hi, this is Julia M. Spencer. I'm a real estate advisor, investor, and enthusiast, and I'm standing here in front of my tax sale foreclosures that I purchased a couple years ago. You may have seen me make movies about this before, and I hope the dogs don't bark right now because that's my neighbor's dogs here. But anyways, I've made lots of videos about this property. I purchased this property at a tax sale foreclosure a couple years ago for approximately $1,400. That's $1,400. Um, we're currently remodeling it. There's nobody living in it right now, but there's people staying there on and off depending on if I have um, a booking because I have it actually listed on Airbnb. It's a very cool part of town, actually. It's very awesome. And we're doing great thanks to this place this year. We're going to rip out the bathroom. It's going to be gorgeous. But I wanted to make this brief video because I had um, recently had a conversation with an attorney on another house that I closed. And the question came up is, um, if you purchase a property like this, how good is your title actually going to be? And um, what are the statute of limitations on title insurance? After you watch this video, Go to my website, it's at the bottom right here, juliamspencer.com. Subscribe to my newsletter there. I send out really valuable coupons and offers in your email where you can purchase my audiobooks for a cheaper price. But also just go to my YouTube channel, subscribe there. It's cheap, it's easy, you can find any kind of topic in real estate investing. That's what I do for a living. I'm also a vacation rental host. I have long-term rentals. I have a wealth of information over 25 years of knowledge of how to do this properly and correctly and um, I'm going to teach you all the mistakes I made also and check me out on on YouTube on Facebook on LinkedIn, on any of the social media channels I have tons of information out there you can get information about me and check out testimonials on my website as well from people that have purchased my products and have um, have subscribed to my website and gotten information for to start their real estate investing careers so let's get back to the topic title searches and title insurance if you purchase a property obviously if you go through a regular real estate buying process where you have a realtor and you make an offer and the offer gets accepted after some negotiation um, when you go and try to finance that property through a mortgage company they want the title insured and the reason they want that title insured is because they don't want somebody coming and saying okay well um, so-and-so sold this property but half of it was mine so now give it back to me so now the title and companies title insurance companies insure those titles before the mortgage companies lend the money so this is traditional if you are buying a tax sale foreclosure like this house right here is you don't get title insurance because you actually don't know who owned it before you can do a title search you can um, bar the redemption rights of the previous owners after you've waited your redemption period and you can do all those things however you never really quite know for sure if somebody may go and fight you on that title and on this property so I asked the attorney how about how long does this go I mean does it really go forever that um, the title is not going to be good or is there some sort of period that after which if nobody claimed the property you can then go to a title insurance and get an insured and the answer was in the state of Georgia the statute of limitations is seven years so if you buy a property like, like this at a tax sale foreclosure make improvements to it rent it to use it yourself whatever after seven years you can go to a title insurance company and get the title insured and you can get a mortgage and it's a good title um, however the time period could be significantly short this is the statute of limitations for the state of Georgia these are um, regular state and federal laws. However, title insurance, in, title insurance companies themselves have different um, regulations and sometimes they're much shorter. So what you can do is you can call around title insurance companies and ask them if there are any that have a lesser amount of time that they can insure the property for. So for example, um, in the state of Georgia, I think it's about three years that most title insurance companies will insure the property. So when you purchase the property at a tax sale foreclosure, basically you start this um, time frame of your redemption period anyways. You have to wait a year before you can borrow redemption rights of the previous owner. But that time is actually added to what the title insurance consider being adequate for them to give you a title insurance. So if you had the property on day one, you held it for a year and a half before 
um, the redemption period is, is up and you um, you cleared the tie or basically you barred the redemption rights of the previous owner a year and a half passed by you only have to wait another year and a half to get title insurance so this is great in the state of Georgia the statute of limitations is seven years title insurance companies sometimes accept three years so when you buy a tax sale foreclosure just hold it for a couple of years um, the other thing that you can do is you can go through a quiet title process which takes anywhere between three, four, five, six months, costs a couple of thousand dollars, and then you can legally go to a courthouse and have them basically quiet the title of a property like this and make it good sooner, sooner than the three years. So, and, and um, you can do it that way and then get title insurance. And of course, the reason for you to want to get title insurance is so that you can get a mortgage on the property. And you may need a mortgage to approve it or whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. So this is the great news and this is what I wanted to share with this video. Let me give you a little bit of a um, go around this property because we've done some work to this and um, I want to give you an update because it's been obviously now two and a half years since I've had it. I love it. Um, I use it myself actually because it's very close to downtown Savannah and it's, it's my favorite place to be when I'm not at home with my kids. So for more tips like this go to my website Julia M spencer.com subscribe to my newsletter there i have a really awesome audio book that you can purchase today it's called make money with tax sale investing get that that audio book today and start your own investing adventure today and have a great day and my name is julia m spencer your real estate advisor online thank you For your free guide to real estate investing, visit juliammspencer.com.